welcome to Unique Spirits, where I feel like something fun and like ridiculous is going to make you laugh, but like you're going to, it like you're going to have to replay it in some way. So someone is in their head about a marriage about a relationship, about a commitment. I was playing in the dirt, so I tried washing my hands, but there's only so much dirt you can get off when you're playing in the dirt. Um, but someone is thinking really hard. They are staying up late at night. They are worried. They are anxious. They are having a really, really hard time grasping onto something in a marriage, in a relationship in something that they have committed to. Ooh. So much that we have a tower here. And what is that? That's when the universe comes in and is like, all right, we have given you chance after chance after chance to get out of this situation. You have not made the right step, so I am going to bring in something so that you now have to move. So good luck with that. And sometimes you can, like, it could be like you have been wanting to get a new car, you've been researching a new car, you haven't yet made that move, you have the money, everything's set, and then you get in a car accident, and now you have to go buy that new car, you know? And you didn't have insurance, or whatever the situation is, you see what I'm saying? Whereas, like, a softer tower would be your... The, the car just doesn't start working one day, you know? And you you take it to the mechanic and they're like, well, you got to put like three, four hundred bucks and you make the decision. No, I think, well, I didn't mean three, four hundred bucks. Three thousand bucks is what I meant. And you're like, no, I'd rather spend five or six grand and go get, you know, a, like what I was planning on getting, you know, because I have the money anyways. So that's it's that kind of situation so whatever you have been putting off the tower is coming in oh no it's because you have you're in your head so there's something that's going to shake this up so you stop getting in your head to just be like oh look this is what it is or oh look now that's gone so now you don't even have to worry about that anymore we have a queen of pentacles in the reverse, and I even tried twice to turn this over, okay? Because lately I have not been taking reversals. I'll interpret it as I'm doing it, but I usually do it upright. This bitch is upside down, which she is money hungry. This one is your, um, your gold digger right here. She wants your money. She's pissed off because you're not making enough money. She wants to sit on her ass and do nothing, but she wants you to go out and do everything you can to make as much money as possible. And she don't care about nothing else except what money's coming in and what she can go buy. This is a greedy little bitch. That could be, I mean, it could be that money is an issue in this situation and someone is with someone that like, in a marriage with someone that's extremely toxic when it comes to money and is, like, making debt and it just, just, like, getting to a point where you're drowning in, in, like, financial ruin kind of thing, you know, getting to that point and that's, that's what's in your head. So the tower is coming in to be like, oh, no, 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 no. He, there, the tower is coming in to relieve someone out of this. Someone in this marriage. Ooh, see, we've got two really fast energies. Now, it could be the the tower moment could also be something that you, like, it's a fight. It's a huge fight where it's just like, I can't take this anymore. I am done. You know, like, I am I need to, like, and then that's when you get in your car and you, you run. You, like, you go and you just, like, speed off. And you're like, I need to get the fuck out of here. Like, I need to go clear my head because I need to figure out where my heart is. What do I want to do? What, what will make me happy? Where does my happiness lie? Ooh, this is going to be a tough one. 
So this is happening to a king of wands, which is someone who is action oriented, who like if they want something, they go for it. They they're honest. They're um, they they are charismatic and they are hot. They they know how to use their looks. But I think someone, I think this King of Wands is trying to get out of this mind trap that they're in when it comes to this Queen of Pentacles reverse. Whew. Good luck and love and light to anyone going through that because, and this could be like, we've got, and I've been through it, like a money hungry guy and, you know, a girl who's going through this. It could be two girls and a guy, two guys. It doesn't even matter. Like, it's just one person in the relationship is extremely toxic when it comes to money, using money that's not theirs and making a hole in like financial burden. And is because they want the materialistic bullshit. And then you have another guy who is action oriented, wants to do things, sees like he's an entrepreneur. He's he's like, I, I got action that I want to take, but he's trapped in his head because of this. And the reason I say this is because the queen would not re like go into upright and the king came out in upright and it wouldn't reverse. So the, the masculine energy is in the right here, and the feminine energy is just extremely toxic right now. And I think the King of Wands is now recognizing this. And they're just like, oh, wow. <laughs> oh. They could be married to him, because it is that is the marriage card. But it could be just a long-term commitment. It could be... That they find out that their boss is really greedy and that they're like, oh, this was not the business that I thought I was getting involved in. I thought this business was about love and light and helping people. So this situation is going to take some healing when, when it's been dealt with and when, when the tower comes in, you know, and you can make your own tower, you know, it could be that, that thing where you're just like, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Like I said, it's just that moment of like, and that usually leads to a fight because you can't just usually say I'm done and then that's it. You usually there's like a, well, why? What's going on? Is I didn't even know anything was wrong. You ever have those ones? I have. It's like, really? Really? I feel like for the last two years we've talked about it every other weekend. Like, Really? It's all the things you said you would do that you haven't done. But then again, why was I asking? You know, like, we both have our wrongs. But isn't that all part of growing? Ooh! Okay, so that is the badass bitch. So, if you're watching this and you resonate with this, just, like, recognize if you're the masculine energy and you're resonating with the masculine. I resonate with the masculine a lot because I'm a single mama, so, like... And I, you know, even my work, like, all through my work, I'm an action-oriented person. Then I come home and I'm an action-oriented person. There's only very few times where I sit in my feminine energy. When I'm, like, doing my self-care and, you know, when I'm out on a date, that kind of stuff is when I, I'm in my feminine. But that's, that's about it. I mainly sit in masculine, so don't even think it could be a male, you know, like, gotta open your mind. To the energy. I think the story's almost done. Like, it looks about being open to different perspectives. That's where you're going to find your happiness. Um, because this tower, I think, is going to shake things. Recognize what your options are. Alright? You have options. You have options in love. You have options in money. You have options in getting out of situations. You have options. You are the holder to what is next in your next day, in the next hour, in the next minute. Like, no one else predicts that. No one else sees that. You could get up today and decide, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with this. And go. And your whole rest of the next 30 years would be changed, you know? Because it would never go back to that same life, you know? You could go back to it. Who knows? So just, just... Live and let live, right? That's what I have for you. Peace, love, and light.